Happy Easter everybody. Gotta watch my step here. Almost fell down the stairs. Miss this thing. I really, really do. But today we are focusing on the F-150. That's right. Specifically, the bed. I'll get to that in a second. So as I mentioned before, we are focusing on the bed portion of the F-150. XL 2018 basic of the basic uh, for one reason only let me show you real quick you, you, maybe people have encountered this issue but hang on look at this look at this this is terrible this is terrible we got tools scattered all around here my gosh we got caulking skill saw Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, it's terrible, we have, oh my gosh, the plans, designs, okay, so, if you're like me, you're tired of this, you don't like this, I mean, I bought this to have rear seats in the back, so people could be there, I didn't buy it as a storage for tools, but, but I have one invention I need to tell you guys about, this is a revelation, a toolbox. So as you can see, this is definitely a Husky uh, saddle toolbox. Um, now there's two types of toolboxes out here that you can find. You have the saddle, which is this bad boy right here. Uh, essentially one piece opens up the top. Or you have the cross box, which uh, opens up from two ends. Kind of flaps up on both sides. It's a terrible way to explain it, but it's as best as I can get. All right, so as the formal introduction goes, this is the Husky Matte Black Aluminum Full Size Low Profile Saddle Truck Box. This thing will run you at about uh, three, 310. Uh, I picked this up secondhand in fairly, fairly good condition, I should say. Uh, slightly dirty with pollen, uh, but you know, it's the season. Okay, so let me show you how to open this bad boy up. You got the uh, key lock right there. There you go. Push that little button, gate opens up, got two little, two wonderful shocks, much like the one I have there. We have here, well actually a good amount of space here. I'll show you guys what this thing fits and what it doesn't. Uh, like I said, this is second hand, but then again, this thing comes with everything that came with brand new. Uh, we have the little J hooks, or I'm gonna show you how to install that. We have these little plastic films here. It goes on each of the big hooks. I'll show you how that thing goes. I don't even think I'm going to use them, but have here our instruction booklet. Now this thing is pretty easy to install. Uh, there are literally only three steps when it comes to installing this thing. And we have a cool little slider, a little organizer here. That's pretty neat. So as I said, there's another lock over here, but the cool thing is, is you can keep this thing locked and only have that one over there open up. So that way you don't have to come all the way around the truck to unlock it you could just open it from one side so that's pretty cool um vice versa uh i have these little slits right here that's obviously where the j hooks are going to hook where you're going to install it on the bed itself my bed is a little dirty uh, but first steps first here guys it's preparation people i almost forgot the important information here and that is my fix the focus compatible full-size truck models okay now Chevy Silverado 07 to 17 Dodge Ram from 02 to 17 Ford F-Series yeah 04 to 17 and then yeah you get the idea and then we have some mounting kit no drilling required lame they took the fun stuff out of it and then we have some more specs here some dimensions uh, I think the links We'll probably have all this information for you. Uh, quickly going back though, remember here this thing said F Series 2004 to 2017, but we got a 2018 on our hands. And now remember I said earlier, guys, this thing is second hand. Before I purchased this, I saw that because that was in one of the pictures that got posted. I saw that. I contacted Mr. Husky himself. I told him, "Your dog, what's the deal? Does?" 
this model number fit the 18 F-150s. And uh, Mr. Husky went ahead and confirmed, barked that me and said, yes, it does, buy that thing. And so I do. Obviously in the links below, it'll give you a bit more details in it, um, as well as the model number, all that other goody stuff. You'll figure it out. All right, so now that you guys have a general idea of what this thing is, what it fits and what it does in, as well as all the information I left down below to help you guys out as much as I can, we're gonna finally start installation. And when it comes to installation, first steps first is preparation. All right, so what the hell is preparation when it comes to toolbox installation? Simple. Look at the condition of my bed. Filthy, 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 filthy. Now obviously the toolbox is gonna to take up a, a good chunk of this space over here, so um, what you want to do is make sure this entire area is swept and cleaned or at least just push all the crap a little bit forward because once the toolbox is on there guys it's gonna be way harder to clean those those corners in there well that's a lot better than what it was as I said before with the toolbox in place it's gonna be way harder to clean up those inside corners so all I did here was just sweep all the dirt here okay so here we have pretty much all of your mounting hardware that's included that's all you really need you have the J bolts right here, and inside you'll see this little white plastic washer that's pretty much supposed to hold the uh, J bolts in place so that it doesn't move around when you're adjusting this thing. Uh, then you have the big washer itself, and finally the nut. Um, you do have these little vinyl film, these little plastic vinyl films are supposed to go on the ends of each of these J hooks. Um, just supposed to help out with the aluminum body, uh, aluminum bed construction uh, if you have one. But that's pretty much it guys. One thing I will need to mention is you need one of these long boys. Uh, I tried doing it with my normal socket uh, ratchet set. But it doesn't work. It's not long enough. So you might want to get one. pick one of these bad boys up. Make your life easier. So because of the aluminum construction or aluminium, this thing is very easy for one person to move around, lift, or uh, whatever. There you go. Next thing you want to do is probably the one that you want to take your dear sweet time on, and that is alignment. Eyeball it, guys. It makes sure you're nice and aligned. Both sides look symmetrical. I don't want to bump my head on this thing. Now, those are pretty much the two big things you want to watch out for: is interference of the lid on the truck itself and alignment. Make sure we're equal on both sides. So once that's done. Then you can go ahead and place the J bolts through and uh, go to town. Tighten those bad boys up. Man, sounds like Michael Vick's back out there. MV? Hmm. So, as I said, I want to make sure you're nice and even here on this bed rail as well as this bed rail. Make sure they're nice evenly distributed. Going nicely across the bed. Making sure we have no interference, just barely. Now I try to get as close as possible because remember I have the world's tiniest bed. But like I said, had to get that thing as close as I, as I can just because I don't want to lose the bed space that I've just lost with this thing. But this is a this is a necessity, so it's whatever. Word of advice, use a tape measure, probably be a lot quicker instead of eyeing it like I did. It took me about 15 minutes to do, but that's it. It's in there, guys. Oh, well, let me show you the installation process. So, J-hook's right here, right? Remember that plastic little washer I showed you? That thing's supposed to hold it in place. Um, otherwise, if you didn't have that thing, the bolt would just fall straight down. Same goes here. What I did is I just line them up, put the little plastic wash in there, put the, uh, the nut pretty close, but enough that this thing could still wiggle around. So uh, that gave me room to adjust. Uh, I did that for all four sides until I saw that it was a nice, well, as even as I could get it. And uh, from there, just secured that thing on. This is a bit of an overkill. I wouldn't use this thing. I, I gently, gently use the trigger on this thing. Obviously, you want a good old-fashioned uh, socket ratchet set. Now, I need to just transfer all of this crap, all of it, all of that to the bed of the truck, and that way I can get my back seats back. Okay, 
right guys that is going to cut it for today's video on the husky saddle toolbox uh, as well as the 2018 3.3 liter f-150 uh, one thing i actually did notice is that there are very few videos on the 3.3 liter um, my guess is that it's not a very popular model to get uh, again this is this is for its fleet vehicle this is their base model i mean i literally mean this is the base of the base so you know not gonna have many too, not too many people out there it's not gonna really have a big audience uh going for the base model but it's weird because i like it it's a great truck for city use granted there are a few things i wish i'd gotten uh and i wish i'd done a little bit more research before purchasing it but i love it it's great um gas is beautiful um i mean because i don't have the v8 and I don't have the EcoBoost, so I'm not here and I'm not there. I'm kind of like over there. But again, fleet vehicle. In other words, the, this thing has to be bulletproof. I'm crossing my fingers. The also, another thing I like about this is that because it's a base, I can pretty much build it up to whatever I want. Now I know this thing is not going to get too far up there. I'm not going to get as much as help as I would if I had a V8, but still, there's still things I can do, and I'm pretty much starting from scratch, so I kind of like it, building it to my to my taste. Again, this is my work truck. I use this every day. I drive it every day uh, for work, obviously. No complaints. I like it. It's very quiet. Some might, some of you might like that. Some of you might not. I don't. Maybe muffler modifications in the future. Well, most likely, definitely. Most likely modifications. So be sure to look out for those videos, guys. I'm definitely going to be. Not too much focus on the Subaru, I'm kind of just garaging it for now because I told you I have future plans for another vehicle. Uh, so I'm kind of just pushing that away and putting all my attention on this thing. So if you like Ford videos, if you like 3.3 liter videos, my man, you'll get that. So be sure to subscribe guys and drop a like and a comment and I'll catch y'all on the next one. Peace.